I'm Angelina with Let's Move Lincoln and I'm here to help you drink more water every day. Our bodies are made up of 60 to 70 percent water. That's dependent on our age and gender. It's 100 percent necessary to get water throughout our day because it helps with our nutrient transportation and waste transportation where it should go in our bodies. It also helps with digestion of what we consume and also helps regulate our body temperatures, which is extremely important during these hot summer months. So how much water should you be drinking every day? There's a simple way to figure this out. Just take your body weight and divide it by two, and that's how many ounces you should be drinking every day. Luckily, our water supply in Lincoln is safe to drink right from the tap, but people have trouble drinking just plain water. So how do we figure out how to be drinking all of that water in our day? We want to mimic the um, same effects that we have when drinking sugar-sweetened beverages. Sugar and beverages really spark this happy chemical in our brain when we're drinking it. So how can we recreate that happy feeling we have when we drink sugar-sweetened beverages with plain water? Here are my go-to tips for drinking more water every day. Try getting your own personal water bottle. Having your own water bottle is a great tip for kids when they can pick out what they want to drink every day and carry around with them. Next, you can add ice to your water. The coolness will wake up your brain, giving it a little jolt. Drink through a straw. You're using different muscles rather than just pouring it in. Try having an insulated water bottle, especially during these hot months where you're going to sports games. Insulated water bottles will help keep that cool effect going for up to eight hours a day. Finally, you can add flavor to your water. Nobody is chaining you down to drink plain water every single day. It gets boring. So be a little creative, have some fun, and throw some fruits, herbs, vegetables, and even spices into your water. Some of my favorite go-to flavors are cucumber and jalapeno, and yes, it does add spice to your water, so be sure to cut out the seeds and ribs of your jalapenos if you don't want a very spicy water. So another one is strawberries and limes. Um, just take off the peel of the lime, especially with lemons if you don't want kind of a bitter taste going on in it. Um, and you can also add in rosemary or basil to have another dimension of flavor to your water. So a popular and affordable flavored water you can do is lime, lemon, and orange. I already cut these up, I washed and cut them, and then we're just gonna plop them in our water that already has ice, it's been chilling, um, so it'll really help infuse the flavor. So we're just gonna dump all of these in. Get it going here. So another great tip besides adding the ice is to really model or push down on your fruits, vegetables, and herbs so it helps release the flavor and infuse the water. Just give it a quick stir. And you can let it sit, like I said, for about two hours. Some might take less than that, but two hours is a good time. If you're using cinnamon and apples, that usually takes about a good eight hours to infuse the water. And then that's it. All you have to do is pour and enjoy. So have fun, be creative, and try what works for you to replace those sugar-sweetened beverages with naturally flavored water. Mm -hmm.